Okay, Jamel, uh, Stanford Cardinal. You guys have had an All-American the last two years. Mm -hmm. um, Fox at 157 slash year, kind of the year before. Um, I guess first question I have is, what's the Joey McKenna situation? Where are you guys at with that? Do you know whether that guy is coming or going? Uh, still don't know. I mean, I, I still communicate with him, and you know, he's still trying to just view his other opportunities. You know, some some things that he felt that he needed to look, look into and, and try to just see what else is out there. And, and he's done that. And. Um, should be making the decision hopefully soon. Me as a dad, my dream is my kid can go to Stanford. That's where I want my kid to go. Um, it's not a hard stop. When we talk about you know, you get a, you don't even need to get people on campus. It's just like the school sells itself. What's it like working for the most elite academic institution, athletically as well on the planet? What is it like working there? You know, it's been such a such a different experience, obviously, than where I've, I've ever been. Just because you know, I was at Harvard, and it obviously meant the academic bill, but didn't have that athletic. And just you know, being in a weight room, and you see uh, Christian McCaffrey or Andrew Lux in there one day, or Connelly's or Rice is in there on the treadmill, like, and it's normal. It's not like people are treating or doing anything different. It's just like there's somebody that's in there, just like like you are, and you know, just having that around you. Um, amongst the other people that you see and events that are always on campus. It's just it's just quite a unique place uh, more than anywhere else in the world. Like, are you ever in awe? I mean, you're, you're an Olympic silver medalist. Well, I'm, I mean. I'm not even, you know, I, I've been to places where, you know, I may be the only medalist on campus. Here, I'm not even the best, I wouldn't even be the best medalist on the swim team, you know what I mean? Isn't that crazy? So, so you know, there's Olympic champs, water polo, swimming, it's it's crazy. It's all over the place, and but that's what you're around, and it's that's what kind of uh, environment it's really. How bad does it hurt? You know, you've been at Harvard, like you said. You've been obviously with Stanford now. Um, how bad does it hurt? NC State. You could recruit different guys from NC State. Now there's guys. There, you can only get about top ten percent of all high school students. And I mean that you can even just recruit. Right. How deflating is that when you really want someone, and then you get their transcript? What's what is that like for you? Um. You know, more so it, it, it is what it is, as, as you've seen with the football program and, and what they're able to do um, with, with what they get. We just have to be able to get kids and develop them and just mainly just be able to continue to sell kids and let them know that Stanford is a place they can, they can achieve their goals, you know, whatever it is, that, that they're not just going there for the academic reasons. They can, they can become a, an NCAA champion, a champion, a champion, and so forth. So, as long as we can continue to develop guys and get the results that's gonna, that shows that, you know, that'll obviously help the recruiting process. I am on Oklahoma State overload for the last three weeks of my life, man. It, it's crazy. You know, John had John Smith at Wabash College, you know, had uh, Coleman, you know, at uh, C3 in Georgia, and then Derringer, J.O.U. Why are you guys such incredible technicians? Literally every guy. It's like watching the same thing over and over, but it's I, I pick some up different from each guy. Why are you guys such incredible technicians? You know, it's just, it's just the way that that we were coached, the way that Coach Smith uh, trained us as far as learning to be in the best technical position and things, the, the little things that can make the difference between finish a takedown and not finish a takedown, knowing that, you know, I'm going to put myself in the best position on a shot. It's not going to matter how strong I am big I am, but it's gonna, I'm going to be in the right technical position that's going to make it the most efficient for me to finish. And, you know, just, we all had that kind of mindset, so when we're together, and even, you know, in college, and especially after college, and even now when I see, you know, Pendleton or Coleman or Zach, like, you know, we'll come up to each other and grab, hey, I've been working this, what do you think of this, or what if you do this, like, that's just kind of how we've always, how we've always played and tried to develop new things and play with new techniques, and, you know, I think it just stems on how Coach Schmidt uh, trained us and, and groomed us at our home state. Did you guys drill a lot when you were there? That might be the biggest understatement. We drilled, it, it was... I get it now because I like I tell my guys when I you know we're going over drilling and it gets monotonous and you know it sucks. There I, I can't say when I was in college like I never got off the mat and didn't know what to do. Maybe I didn't execute, but I couldn't say, hey coach, I didn't know what to do. I was in on the single leg and I didn't know what to do. I didn't finish a shot because I didn't execute it. Not because I didn't know what to do. So to be able to to know that obviously gives you confidence, but also you know. I, I, you always feel prepared. I, I know, okay, 
what to do. I just got to go do it. What's next for you? Uh, Fargo, recruiting, where are you guys at next? Um, we've got camp, our Stanford camp tomorrow. Um, just taking care of that. Coach Blake and Coach Rodriguez will be going to, uh, to Fargo. And I'm actually trying to figure out, I was supposed to go on a tour to Baku, but it got canceled. So you were going to you were gonna go to Baku? I was going to go to Baku. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do as far as uh, international tours, if I'm going to be able to. And then uh, Paris. I'll be in Paris to, to watch Boris and support uh, Team USA. All right, man. We've got guys out here working out. You got anything else for me? No, I just appreciate everything you're doing, and uh, I'm glad to be here. Hey, thanks for the time, man. Safe travels. Thank you.